of the grip and stuff because as soon as we go into this kind of position, and I know I've talked about this already uh, over the last couple of weeks into here, it's really difficult to roll out and clear that grip just by using the, 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 uh, the wrist rolls. Um, so like it is a really strong grip and you do see it an awful lot. One of the things that, that obviously we've all kind of just experienced is a partner can stand up quite easy. And this is partly because of what I'm doing with my feet and my hips and stuff. So I'm still doing the same thing, I'm still looking for them three points of connection. Yeah, and instead of just kind of having my feet resting here, I'm gonna lift my hips up and then yeah, flare my knees out, but my, my feet are actually pushing down. This is gonna make it a little harder for him to stand up now. It's really important I flare the knees out though. If your knees are kind of in this position, he can start killing the game and it makes it a little bit more difficult. So when I get to here and I lift my hip up, Jay tries to stand up now, it's a little bit more tricky. Yeah, and this is where I've still got that control, it starts moving around. Yeah, into there. But I've also got that hip loaded up to start getting a nice little lift as well. Okay, so we're just going to kind of play that position. Yeah, so we're going to lift our hips up, I feel you're kind of pushing down, see if it makes the stand a little more difficult and see if the kind of position feels a little more comfortable to kind of play around with as well. Um, but that flare of the knee is really important. So, always three points of contact here, and then hip up. Yeah, and then you move around, test, kind of load that hip up, and just lift, okay? Does that make sense? Give it a go. One, two, three. The same ability to kind of start attacking with some of the submissions that we're going to look at today. Um, so, this is, this is kind of one of the things in these kind of guards where um, if Jay, Jay stands up, and I keep my foot in this position. This is super easy for Jay to deal with. It's a lot easier for him to start passing, clearing these. Even though I've got these grips, if he gets a pant grip on the inside, I've got some real problems. And it's a lot of it's to do with where my bum is. Yeah, because it's too far away, there's no pressure. So even though I've got a connection, and this is what I mean by bad connections, okay, it's all it's doing is just touching Jay. It's not pushing. So like, as well as having three points of connection to form a guard, you also need to have a push and a pull for a guard to be effective as well. So at the moment, all I've got is two pulls because my feet are just resting. So having your hip up in this position, now Jay has to kind of manage my, uh, the weight on his hips because of my feet. So now I can push and pull at the same time, which gives us a lot more opportunity. So when we're, when we're doing guard, let's always kind of think about, do I have a push and a pull? Yeah, and do I have three, three points of connection? If I do, I'm in guard. If I don't, I need to get guard. Does that make sense? I, like today's gonna be a little bit kind of principle stuff but with some submissions, but if we, if we skip over the principles of kind of the guard position, the, the submissions aren't gonna go. So starting off in the same position, so it's down here, again, lift my hip up. So now when he starts standing, yeah, it's giving him a little bit of resistance, but my hip's already in a good position. Okay, so I'm gonna adopt my push and pull. Okay, I'm gonna push, pull, and now my hip's already up to start looking for a triangle. Okay, so it's much easier to get my hip closer to Jay's chin and get that nice angle on that triangle because of where my hips are. If I try and test this as well, make sure, you know, it does work. If I try and triangle from here, I am not getting my hip up that high, okay? Not without a massive effort. I, I need to do that to get my hip up, but by the time I do that, he's starting to posture back and I'm gonna miss my opportunity to submit, okay? So, don't forget the principles. Three points of connection. Always a push and pull, lifting hips up. Okay, I'm gonna pull, push a little bit, and then I'm gonna sit through into my triangle. Nice and tight. Okay? I shouldn't have to force it. I shouldn't have to explode and make a big distance. Yeah, because we're still just working from there. Does that make, make sense? Did you, did you move his right arm then? Um, I'm, I'm, yeah, you, you, need, you need to make him Superman. So one pull, one arm's back here, whether it's being pushed or it's just hanging. Yeah, so get one arm extended and then 
whichever, whichever side, uh, the opposite side to the hand that's extending that side that's going to go over. Let's start with that and see if we need to break it down further. Yeah, the thing I want us to focus on is that hip position, yeah, and having a good guard. Okay, give it a go. One, two, three. Drill that we just did, probably not the right term to call it. Uh, the drill, armbar swing drill. There we are. Good. That sounds way better. Um, it, and we're kind of focusing on that angle. So that's the next bit. That's where some of us are kind of missing, you know, the, the finish of the triangle. Because we're trying to we're trying to finish the triangle facing them. Okay, so again, in here, got that hip lifted up. I'm expecting him to stand. Okay, I've got that again that push and pull. Yeah, I'm pulling this arm through, I'm shooting my hips up. I've dropped my hip a little bit just so you can see where the foot is, but typically that's where my, my hip's gonna be. As soon as I shoot my leg up and in, pulling, keeping that hip as close to him as possible. I tend to go to here first, okay, which is called diamond because I'm short, okay. Pass the arm across and then I'm going to create an angle, so grab your shin, okay, and this is where we start looking at that angle we were creating on the swing, okay, and then over and that's where you get your triangle, okay. We should never ever, when we do anything that involves grappling and close distance contact with another man, look in their eyes <laughs> all right it's really important it makes everyone uncomfortable and question stuff so <laughs> no point i don't need to look in his eyes because i've got my push and pull i know exactly where he is i've got my hip up nice and high yeah push the arm across create my angle and then we can start going into the, the triangle you can look in a man's ear that's okay. And you can spend hours staring in that ear. There's nothing in there for no one. <laughs> Nor in the eyes. <laughs> Give it a go.